happy Halloween guys or happy Samhain, however you would like to say it. Okay, so let me jump right in. Um, I wanted to make a protection spray that you can spray in any room or on your person. And um, there are other witches out there who uh, also make this, but I have my own version. So it's um, completely safe to put on your skin or spray around animals, um, babies, whatever. It's 100% safe. Okay, so as we know, essential oils, they don't mix with water. So we're going to use extracts along with a few different types of water. Okay, so I encourage you, grab a cup of tea or coffee, whichever you prefer, and join me. So, all right, so the ingredients that we're going to be using today is Florida water, which um, Florida water is very cleansing and very protective. I wanted to add that little bit of cleansing element to it. Okay. Next, here, let me just move this real quick. I chose, and you can get this in any grocery store, guys, hazelnut extract. And there is a specific reason I'm using that one today. Um, I did a little research on it, and the twigs, nuts, branches of the hazelnut tree um, are said that they should be gathered after sunset on Samhain. For this is when the magical power of the tree is at its peak. It's also known as sac being sacred to the Fae. And it's also good for spiritual contact. So, um, and reconciliation, etc. Okay, so, um, today would be a good day to use that, right? Alright, and then the next extract I chose was anise. Again, just the McCormick brand, guys. So that's used to ward off the evil eye, which some people can give you without knowing that they're giving that to you. And it's also known to have been used in holy waters, blessings, and exorcisms. So, I wrote my little notes. <laughs> okay. And then roses, believe it or not, yes, we use them a lot in love magic, but they have a protective quality all of their own, which I really like to use. So, you can get rose water most grocery stores, I think. I ordered mine, I think, on Amazon. You know, I go to Amazon for pretty much anything. Now, the last two ingredients, they're just my, ad, you know, additions here. <clears throat> I collected full moon water, and there was a hurricane, like a very nasty hurricane, the same night. And that was on October 29th of 2012, and I still have some. So if you have something similar to that, use it. Like whether it's full moon water, hurricane water, thunderstorm water, um, that'll work just fine. Or plain old water is okay too. These are just additions that I have, and why not add them? I figured um, that would add an extra real punch to the protective qualities of this. And then I also have water that I collected on Midsummer. Um, I'm not sure what year, because I didn't write it down, and it was charged under the full moon. Okay, so those are the ingredients. So here's how we're going to assemble it. All right, you only want the tiniest bit of these extracts. I probably should have grabbed a little dropper for these, and I didn't. So, all right, now, I already cleansed the bottle with sage. Um, oh, also, I forgot to mention, I'm adding a few stones. I have a few pieces of, like, little tiny pieces of amethyst, which is a very protective stone. Um, a small piece of hematite, again, very protective against spiritual attacks, evil eye, anything like that. And then I also am going to add a very small piece of clear quartz just for its purification purposes. And it's really such a universal stone. If you don't have any of the stones, that's fine. Or if you just have one, that's great too. I don't know if you guys can see my shirt. It says Bad Witch. But check this out. This is awesome. 
No, I'm a good witch. <laughs> I saw this and I just had to get it. <laughs> okay, so you're going to want to cleanse your bottle. I also cleansed the stones and I did that with sage. Okay, and I lit my God and Goddess candles, call on them, all that. Okay, so we're just going to put, you know what? I am going to use, I do have one small little dropper, but I need that for my midsummer water. Shoot, how am I going to do this? All right, guys, we're just going to wing it here. So this is the hazelnut, and it has a very strong scent. So we just want the tiniest bit. Oop, there we go. I don't know if you can see how little I put in there. Then the anise. Again, very strong scent. So again, just put, if you have a dropper that you can use, I would highly recommend that and put like three drops. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. Hopefully that's not too much because <laughs> it, it's very potent. All right, then we're going to add our rose water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven drops. Okay, then Florida water. Now, I don't have any botanicas near me. I, I have to get everything off Amazon or drive like five hours to get somewhere. So, Amazon is my friend. <laughs> so, that's where I've pretty much gotten everything except for the extracts. Okay, a little bit more. There we go. If you can see, I'm trying to keep anything scented and not put too much in there because if we're spraying it around the room or on our person. We don't, you know, want it to clash with our perfume or maybe anything you have scented in your house like candles. Okay, so then next, I'm going to use my full moon hurricane water. I can't believe I still have some of this. This lets you know that what a pack rat I am when it comes to my magical stuff. Okay. Just a little bit of that. Okay, and... I just, I mean, you can use any dropper that you have. I, I have these plastic ones, so I'm going to use that because this is in such a large jar. And as you're doing this, guys, woo, I want you to think about a protective bubble around you, a shield that anything that gets thrown towards you bounces off and reflects back. So I'm going to do... two of these little droppers. Now let's do three. Magical number, right? Okay. Alright, and I am going to use regular water too, but for a moment I'm just going to sit here and think about put my protective energy into it. You can call on any deity that you might choose. And I'm just using regular spring water. I could use, I have rain water collected too, but this is what I have right next to me, so why not? And I chose a purple spray bottle because purple represents power and protection to me. Right to the tippy top for the most part. You could use a clear one, uh, a clear spray bottle, but just label it, um, because I am going to be doing a, another video for a spray for love. Um, and you could use a red or a pink bottle if you can find it. If not, you might just want to continue to use clear for all of them and just label them so you know which one is which. So, this is a hematite. Asking it to protect me. 
it goes. Clear quartz. These are tiny or else I'd show them to you guys. Again, asking it for cleansing and protective energy. And that one goes. And then these are like the teeniest little pieces of amethyst. You can get them in tiny little bottles, like they're little glass bottles with a cork. I don't know if you've ever seen them before. But amethyst, it's great for um, your third eye. It's great for protection. Um, I just felt like it was a welcomed addition to this. I'm going to ask this too for protection. Okay. I think I just dropped one because <laughs> they're so tiny. Okay. And we are done. Okay, I might label this even though I know what it is. I do have a protective, or sorry, a cleansing one as well that I keep in a clear bottle. This is good um, for, you know, if you're an empath and just very sensitive to other people's energies, um, you know, spray it on yourself before you leave the house. You can spray it in your car, around your car, to protect yourself. Um, around your doorways and windows to protect from theft. Uh, there, really, the possibilities are endless. Well, what's great is that it's not. There's no oil in here. It's just the water, so you're not going to be clogging up the sprayer. You can use it pretty much anywhere, which I love. Let's see. Let's see how it smells. Okay. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> it kind of smells like like coffee almost. Like um, you know those coffees that have the fancy flavors to them. So that's why I really. It's kind of strong. I'm not gonna lie, guys. So that's why if you had the opportunity to use a dropper. For the extracts, I would, and maybe just add one drop. Because that's all you really need. Protective energy is everywhere. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't get in my tea. I'm not a coffee drinker, I'm a tea drinker. Alright guys, so if you have any questions, drop it down in the comments. And if you need to contact me, if you want me to make this for you, if you want... Any of these waters, because, well, I don't have much of my full moon hurricane water left, but I have plenty of my midsummer water left if you need some of that. Um, or just have any other questions that you want to talk to privately with me, email me at gypsywolf83 at gmail.com. I hope you guys have a wonderful Samhain Halloween, All Hallows Eve, and blessed be.